this is an old 486 laptop this laptop currently isn't fully working I'll show you that in a moment but I thought it'd be interesting to show you just because it's uh, an old example of a 486 there's no marking on it saying who made this it just says notebook 486 DX professional and there's not much on the internet there's a thread on Vogue on there's a couple of other bits and pieces on Reddit nothing really explains too much about these machines who or this brand it does seem on the threads that I've read that it was made specifically to connect to medical devices this one is in pretty good shape and it comes with this extra docking battery pack it doesn't hold any charge though because it's so old interestingly it just locks in by using these screws it comes off like that now this doesn't boot because um, I believe the hard drive it's an old Connor hard drive it's given up I'll show you how far it gets pretty big AC adapter it plugs in power switch is here next to these extra LED lights okay. see that it's going through CMOS RAM error check battery runs probably because the CMOS battery is no longer working let's just continue it says disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. Here's my boot disk. It says starting Windows 95. It's a good sign, means the floppy disk drives working. Yeah, boot it into the A drive. Boot directory. All the bits come up. This is where if we try and do an F disk, come back and say no fixed disk present. This is where I think the, the hard drive's gone. I'm going to try and place it with a compact flash and then try and install MS-DOS. Looks like it's a black and white screen. I haven't seen too many videos or images on the internet about this particular brand. Yeah, looking forward to trying to get this one working. This is part one of hopefully a two-parter. Uh, in the second part, when I get my compact flash uh, converter, um, I'll try and take a video of dismantling this, putting in the compact flash and loading on either DOS and, and maybe Windows 3. If you're interested in seeing the next part of this series, consider subscribing. If you like other retro PC videos, maybe have a look at the other things that I've put up on YouTube. Alright, thank you for watching. See ya!